Hello Zebrahead, welcome to Cuphead. This just released on the Nintendo Switch and I've been super excited to play it. Of course, I have played it before, back in a couple years ago I live streamed it, but now I wanted to play it again on the Nintendo Switch and see if I still enjoy it as much. I really liked it when I originally played it. It was a super duper difficult game and as you can see, it's really fun. It's sort of like an old, early 1900s cartoon and it's all about sort of going and beating up different boss fights. So it should be a lot of fun. Let's go ahead and get started with Cuphead. Yeah, let's get started with Cuphead. It's actually like a little book, which is pretty cool. Once upon a time, in a magical place called Inkwell Isle, there were two brothers named Cuphead and Mugman. They lived without a care to, under the watchful eye of the wise Elder Kettle. One day, the two boys wandered far from home, and despite the Elder Kettle's many warnings, ended up on the wrong side of the tracks and entered the Devil's Casino. Inside, Cuphead and Mugman soon found themselves on a winning streak at the craps table. Hot dog, exclaimed King Dice, the casino's manager. These fellows can't lose. Nice run, boys, laughed a newcomer. The brothers gasped. It was the casino's owner, the devil himself. Now, now, how about we raise the stakes? And he suggested with a toothy grin. Win one more roll and all the loot in my casino is yours, the devil boomed. But if you lose, I'll have your soul. Steal? Cuphead, blinded by easy riches, nodded and grabbed the dice for a throw. Good gosh, Cuphead, no, cried Mugman, as he understood the danger, but it was too late. Snake eyes, laughed the devil while slamming the floor. You lose, the brothers trembled in fear as he loomed over them. Now, about those souls. The brothers pleaded for their very lives. There must be another way to repay you, Mugman stammered. Yes, please, mister, Cuphead added. Hmm, perhaps there is, the devil snickered, pulling out a parchment. I have here a list of my runaway debtors. Collect their souls for me, and I just might pardon you two mugs. Now get going, the devil roared, kicking the boys mo out most rudely. <laughs> you have till midnight tomorrow to collect every one of those souls, otherwise I'll be the one collecting yours. Cuphead and Mugman were terribly frightened and ran away as fast as they could. Come on, Mug, panted Cuphead. We have to find the Elder Kettle, he'll know what to do. This is why you should never gamble. It's just, it's just not a good idea. You should instead, you know, buy something that'll make you happy. <laughs> All right, well, as you can see, we're talking to Elder Kettle. What a fine pickle you boys have gotten yourselves into. I know you don't want to be pawns of the devil, but if you refuse, I can't bear to imagine your fates. You must play along for now, collect those contracts, and you'd best be ready for some nasty business. Your debtor friends won't be very friendly once you confront them. In fact, I expect they'll transform into terrible beasts. Take this potion so they won't hang you out to dry. It will give you the most remarkable magical abilities. Now go to my writing desk and use the miscellaneous inkwell there. You need to prepare yourselves for a scrap. Can we talk to him anymore? Well, what are, you, what are you rascals waiting for? Off you go. Meanwhile, I shall try to figure out some way out of this mess. Good luck, you trouble, troublesome little mugs. All right, well, let's go into the tutorial then, try to figure things out. Of course, I do know how to play, but it has been like a year or so since I've last played, so I wouldn't mind giving it a shot again, sort of see how things happen. All right, so duck, hold down to crouch. So yep, we can do that. It's gonna be very important. B is to jump, tap for short, and hold for a higher jump. X is to dash, now it's gonna be super important. I actually sort of wanna change the button for that. We'll have to wait and see. Um, but X to dash, and then we can down and B to descend, drop down from certain platforms and Y to shoot for rapid fire, or hold for rapid fire. R is to lock, so we can stay in one place and sort of look around a little bit more. So like, if obviously if we're trying to shoot up here while I'm walking, it won't really work, so I have to hold it and do that. All right, let's actually stand at the right angle, there we go. And the parry slap, so press jump while airborne to nullify or interact with pink objects. This also builds your super meter, so I can go like this, that, and that. That's very cool, I think it's very funny. Uh, resurrect. Uh, revive your dead pals with a well-timed parry on the ghost two-player mode only. Which, yep, this whole game is uh, multiplayer. And then A, the EX move, an upgraded attack that requires one super meter card. So we have that right there. That was one EX move. Uh, and there's coins. Collect coins to purchase items from the shop. And then there's like a super move, I thought. I'm not quite sure, I don't remember exactly. 
But yeah, this game is super duper duper difficult, so we'll have to see how everything goes. But I'm super glad it's on the Nintendo Switch now. I mean, you get to play this wherever you want, because before it was only on PC and Xbox. All right, well, we learned that. Do you have anything new to say? Uh, you'll have to lay out all those debtors and to move on. Now shake a leg. All right, <laughs> we'll do exactly just that then. Let's exit. This game is really pretty though. Like just the art style, it really looks like an old cartoon, which is super cool. Okay, well, let's get out there in the world and start doing what we gotta do. Oh yeah, this is the overall, this is super fun. Oh, there's a little apple guy. It's so pretty though, oh my gosh, I love it. Hello. Hey, fellas. Looks like you're in for it now, huh? Well, I used to be same the same way, always getting into trouble, running, jumping, shooting. But now I prefer just strolling around and going to the pictures. But hey, let me give you a hand, take this. Ooh, you received three gold coins, very generous of you. Hey guys, good to see you again. Oh, those coins helped out a bit. Maybe check with the other folks around here, they might help you too. The one's not trying to kill you, I mean. Alrighty then, so we'll take a look for that. There is a shop right here and definitely want to buy some pretty important stuff at the Pork Rinds Emporium. Let's get to it. <laughs> Welcome. All right, so he has different items and these might not mean too much to us right now, but it might be good to take a look. We have the Chaser, which is the EX Chaos, Chaos Orbit. Uh, long range with below average damage, no aiming required. So it's one of my favorites and probably wanna buy, but we could also buy an extra heart hit point. Adds an additional hit point, but lightly weakens your attack power. Don't think we need that too much. We have the Spread Shot, which is EX eight way. Um, well, that's the EX, okay, gotcha. Um, Short range with great damage if you can keep close to your target. Then we have the Smoke Bomb, Invisible Dash. That is another super important one. I might actually get that before I get the Chaser. Um, you will not take damage during a dash, a great defense maneuver. So I think we're gonna get that, and then we'll get the Roundabout EX Jumbo Rebound. Great coverage with average damage. Aim backwards for maximum damage. We're just gonna go into the Smoke Bomb, and it actually replaces it with something else, the so Pea Sugar, Automatic Parry. Uh, the first parry move is automatic. All you need to do is jump, which I hope that we won't have too much of an issue with. So yeah, let's get started with that. We have ourselves already um, an extra move. I don't know if I have to go and equip it. You got to equip those new purchases if you want to use them. Look at your equip card, you bums. That was rude. <laughs> All right, well, here we go. Here's our equip card. So I want to go to my super. No, I want to go to my charm and get the smoke bomb. Got you. So I don't have a super. Got you, okay. Hmm, I'm taking a look at our list. Yeah, this is World 1, so we'll try to get World 1 done in today's episode, I'm really not sure. Maybe we'll do sort of like portions of each world in each episode, well, we'll just have to wait and see. But there is a level down this way, I guess it's maybe the first level, what is over this way? Forest Follies, run and gun. Okay, so there's sort of two different types of levels in Cuphead, there's sort of like side-scrolling levels that you can go through, and then there's also boss fights that you can take on. I guess we'll do one of the side-scrolling levels, the big purpose on these are to make it to the end and to get five coins along the way if you can, and we'll do what we can. These games just take a lot of trial and error, so we'll see how things go. I'm a little nervous, to be honest with you. <laughs> it's been a while since I last played, but I know it was like as tough as nails, you know? So, just gotta be careful, I suppose. Oh, okay, okay, we're fine, we're fine. That was a little scary, excuse me. Beat you up. Just gotta watch for things to parry as well, if we ever have that opportunity. Watch it, okay, like there is that. And sometimes it's just better for avoiding things. Oh, sir, I didn't know you could do that. And there is a coin right there. Whoa, okay, watch out, that was not watching it. I'm already down to one HP. Oh no, okay, there we go. I parried that one. Okay, we're making it, we're making it. Ah, there we go, got coin number two. I'll try to get every coin, but honestly, this isn't like, my goal isn't 100%, it's just sort of to make our way through. <laughs> as much as I can. And then I can dash across that, watch it! Whoa, okay. Hold on now, hold on. Give me a moment, just one moment. Oh, okay, so I have my, uh... oh no, I died! <laughs> I jumped right into that, we were getting so close to the end too. Nowhere to run, nowhere to go, this forest is your foe. Oh my. And we have to start all the way back at the beginning again. It's gonna be very interesting, just like lots of trial and error. That's why I'm not really sure if I'll be getting too many levels done per episode. Just that way, you know, not every episode is like a cabillion hours. Because, you know, some of these worlds, they might not seem like they have many levels in them, but when you consider how much trial and error each one takes, then it gets really long. It's a good game, though. I mean, I think it's only like $20, too. Like, I think it's worth the value. If you like this kind of game, that is. Watch it. Okay, I didn't get hit by it this time. 
That's good. Nice. Okay. Get that. I want to do parries wherever I can do them because they might, you know, give me more super moves. That's sort of a big benefit to parries. They don't mention too much is that they give you the super moves. Okay. Let's get rid of that guy and dodge that acorn. Okay. We're doing all right. I'm gonna try to dodge that stuff. I think one of these guys, ah, you do, you stinker. You got me. Oh, wow, well, it's fine. And what's going on? Oh, I remember this. Ow, that was bad. Because, oh man, you need to get rid of that thing real fast. It takes a lot of damage. Here go. I remember that. Uh, that's not a fun part of it. We'll keep going though. We'll keep trying to see what else we can do. <laughs> Luckily, each time we make our way through the level, it gets a little easier. You know, we sort of learn all the tricks to it. But I definitely think I might want to change my controls at least a little bit, just because I don't like where the dash button is. I think I did that originally too, I changed where the dash button was. It's like one of the shoulder buttons, because I just feel like that's a lot more intuitive. Thank you for not destroying me. There we go, got rid of that thing. Oh, but I didn't get rid of you. Oh my gosh, I can't believe you got me there. I might have to just restart now. <laughs> he had a really good shot. Oh man, what a throw, what is with those guys? This is crazy. Oh, look at that, I got an achievement, parry persistence, which is pretty cool. Just being able to get more parries and stuff, and I mean, not more parries, but more achievements. It's my first one. So, hopefully we get many more. Once again, I'm not really focused on completion in this game. I'm just sort of just trying to have fun with it. If we do get completion, that's awesome and amazing and everything, but not exactly necessary. Did I get another parryable thing? Thank you. There it is, very cool. So we have a full meter with that. Might wanna get rid of that guy and dodge. Oh boy. So yeah, we can try to destroy this guy as much as we can. We do have to be careful just because of the acorns, but we made it. Very good, very, okay. Oh, that was a fast dodge. Okay, okay, I see it. I got it, that was actually pretty good. And we made it! All right, bravo indeed, a round of applause. We got the perfect run because we didn't take any damage. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, much better. So, what was my grade for that one? Our time completion was a minute 20. HP bonus, we get three out of three, three out of three for the parry. Five out of five gold coins, so our skill level is two stars. And we get an A plus. Golly, a perfect score. Okay, well that's the first and only time that's gonna happen. I'm just, I'm guaranteeing it. Don't get your hopes up. It might've been a great first impression, but the game gets way too difficult to maintain that kind of score. Prepared. All right, so I do wanna go down here before we go over to that bridge, because there's another boss fight we can check out. The root pack in, botanic panic. And then we can also choose like simple or regular difficulty. We'll do regular and see how things go. I don't think I need to do simple. Um, but yeah, this is sort of the main meat and potatoes. <laughs> Pun intended with what of this boss fight I think it is. Um, this is the main meat and potatoes of the game. Uh, is just fighting the bosses. <laughs> and this is why it's meat and potatoes, or it's at least potatoes. Ooh. See, we're just trying to beat this guy up as much as we can. Parry off that worm, because it is pink. That's sort of something. It's not always like a nondescript pink object. It can be some normal looking object that you can also parry off of. So I can already hit you with one of those. That's good. I don't have any of these super moves, you know? So I'm trying to be careful here. But so far, we're doing great. That's not what I meant to do. <laughs> That's why I don't like the parry button where it is. I'm trying to press the uh, special. All right, I'm trying to be careful with this and try to parry into some of those. I, I pressed a button to parry, so that was weird. Hey, little guy, it's okay to, it's okay to have a cry, aw. Um, I'll try again. I don't think I'm gonna have a perfect score for this one, because I think for the boss fights, you need to parry certain things. To have, ow, okay, let's retry that right <laughs> away. Um, you have to have a, you have to parry everything for a certain score. I'm not sure, though, if that's actually the case. We'll find out. Right now, I can at least parry off of all the worms. Boom, got it. Okay, now this is the one where they're a bit faster. For me, it's just, you know, way more valuable that I survive. Oh, I didn't even need my uh, my EX for that one. We have coins, I probably should have spent them before I went into this level. There we go, there we go. So he's gonna start crying in a second. I just gotta be careful of them for right now. Like I could typically, you know, try to parry some of them. I don't think it's worth doing at this rate. There we go, we got him pretty good though. So he should have one more phase. He's been a potato, an onion, and a carrot. I mean, it's sort of just a whole group of them. <laughs> and I don't think it's all the same guy. That wouldn't make any sense. Oh no, okay, I just barely got that. Can, we, uh, can I throw my special upwards? I can, that's good. Whoa, there we go. 
Um, I'm forgetting which button to press. <laughs> that got me scared for a second. There we go. Luckily, the carrots only take like one hit to take out most things. Only take one hit. But I also, most of the time, only take a couple hits to take out, so that's the problem. And we're doing damage to him. Obviously, it won't be perfect, because I've already taken some damage myself, because I forgot about this third eye move, because why does the carrot have a third eye? <laughs> some of these ball sweats are very weird. He's just some kind of psychic carrot, and there we go, we get a knockout, taking names. Nice stuff, very cool. So our first, I guess, group of bosses, so it's more than one of them, is taken down. Our time was um, at 28. HP bonus two out of three, parry. Th okay, we only had to do a minimum of three parries. That wasn't too bad then. We got an A, a brand new record. I could probably have done that again and gotten a perfect score, but once again, it's not what I'm worried about. It's A-OK. -okay. I mean, I think you unlock hard mode after <laughs> after beating the game once, so it's, just like, it's definitely nothing to worry about too much. Anyways, definitely some things are opening up down this way. We got the soul contract, the root pack. All right, you got the root pack soul contract. And what is going on down this way? I'll be a monkey's uncle if I'm putting my moolah on the bank. For all I know, the devil probably controls that place too. They'll never get a hold of my gold if I spread it all around. And if some Joe happens to find a coin or two, good for him. That's what I say, harumph. I don't know if it's the best investment strategy, but you know, if it makes you happy, that's what really matters. Um, I guess he doesn't really give you anything. He just, he's basically just letting you know there's coins to find and that they're his coins. Um, but anyways, if we have coins to spend, we might as well spend them, even if apparently they might have been his. He seems to be fine with that. So yeah, well, let me go ahead and get the next thing, which I think is going to be the chaser. From everything I see, I think it's gonna be the best idea. So let's go ahead and do the chaser. And then next we have the lobber, which has the EX Kablooey. Medium range and good damage with a slower rate of fire. Not gonna worry about that too much. And before we get into the action, I do wanna see if I can't change the controls of the game. So yeah, I'll be right back once I figure that out. Okay, so down here we have a little boat. This is Ribbon Croaks and Clip Joint Calamity. So before we get into it, actually, I wanna go ahead and equip our shot B, which is gonna be the chaser. So we can sort of choose between the two, which will be very, very helpful. Still don't have a super. Hopefully that happens at some point. But for right now, we're doing pretty good, if you ask me. So uh, yeah, let's get to it. Um, Do the Clip Joint Calamity, where I think it's some interesting characters in this one. We'll find out. Whenever it loads. I feel like the loading screens are a little bit longer here on the Switch, but you know, it's worth it. All right, we got some some frogs. <laughs> so we can switch our weapon at any time. So right now we're using, wait, what happened? Did I do this wrong? Oh, I did, didn't I? Okay, well this is actually fine. Maybe. Uh, We'll have to wait and see. <laughs> I messed up my controls a little bit, I think. I don't know. No, maybe I didn't, maybe I didn't. Maybe I'm just being weird. Okay, anyways, yeah, we're just gonna defeat these frog dudes. We have this one weapon right here, which auto sort of aims at some enemies, but the thing is it does a little bit less damage because of that, so it's not the best thing ever. It's just uh, pretty good though. So let me try this again and try to do a little bit better. Ah, oh, I didn't quite hit that, that's a shame. I didn't hit that one? Are you sure? Oh, okay. Um, I don't know how I feel about that. I think next time I'll probably pull out my uh, auto aim and just try to focus on dodging a bit more. Oh no, oh no, what's he doing? He's moving, there we go. <laughs> okay, now they're on both sides of it. This is where the auto aim can be very helpful because we can just focus on not getting hit and then that just sort of does the work for us. Only problem, as you can see, is that, ah, they, they can still get me if I'm not very good at the game. Crude and bad, cause we're from the wrong side of the lily pad. <laughs> wow. Here's a real high class battle. Let's try this again. I'm a little bit more used to what they might be up to here, so that's good. So I have to be careful of this, because apparently it is really hard to get that done. But I did it, and I just jump into that one. I really don't like the parries where you have to, it's just not easy, where you're jumping into it instead, because you have to press jump and then press the button again really fast. There we go. I wanna get a little bit closer to these guys, but be careful. Okay, nice, and also good. So I've done my three parries I need for the A plus requirement. And I'm mostly, ow, focused on surviving and I'm not doing a, oh, I can't, okay, I thought I could hide under his legs. Can't do that. <laughs> this is where I just, you gotta try a lot of stuff. You gotta figure out what works. 
let's go and use this for a little bit. Mostly because I just want to focus on parrying where I can. Ah, oh, I can't believe I didn't get that. I definitely don't want to get hit in this section. I feel like I'm having a hard time. <laughs> Might be obvious. Come on now. Whoa, went right over that. Nice. There we go, ow! Ah, <laughs> oh, not a good balance to make, that sort of stinks. But I made my three parries, and of course, because of that, I do have uh, that right there, and that's useful. I mean, I have quite a few of those. And I can sort of, I don't know if I'm hitting both of them with that. Nice, okay. Whoa, look at me. That's very good. Okay, I gotta watch it for this one. Boom, and then smack him. Smack him again, very good. Now I'm gonna switch over to, whoa, boy. Ow, <laughs> not good. Come on, stop it. Okay, we're, we're, we're sort of doing all right here. There's lots of things to dodge. Very interesting little projectiles she's throwing. I'm not exactly sure what they're supposed to be. Now I guess I can switch to this. I'm always facing somebody. What is he trying, is he trying to eat me? Oh no, okay. Oh, there are two in one deal. Okay, I can't quite hit him just yet. Oh, you know what? I gotta parry that. Whoa. I don't know when I can hit him. Uh, I don't know what that is. Oh boy. So luckily I, I'm, I'm hitting him, I'm doing damage. Watch it. So it looks like wherever the blue flame is, I should have used my dash. That was the farthest we've gotten. We got pretty far there. You went for broke and now you're croaked. Not good. Let's try it again. I want to see whatever damage we can. He's gonna spit out those fireflies, literally. There we go, there we go. I don't care for these guys very much, gotta be honest. We even run into those last time. Watch it. I'm trying to get that parry going on. Ain't turning out so well, I got one of them. It's much more important for me not to get hit, I suppose. Um, I can't quite hit that guy. That's why I need to use the auto aim. There we go, much better. At least makes it so I can get my priorities a bit straight. It'd be tough to do. Let's go ahead and hit him a little bit, and his friend. Oh, this is where I just don't like it. Okay. And we seem to survive that pretty well, actually, unless he's not done. Gotta be careful. There we go. It seems to be the best bet is to like dash backwards like that. Whoop. Okay. While you're dodging one, he's already throwing out the other one. That gets messy. Okay, whoop. That was close. A little too close. Okay, well, what are we gonna get this time? We gotta be careful, because yeah, it's gonna be spitting out coins. But I can parry that one. And three frogs. I can't be good with how bad the frog situation has been so far. There we go, come on. I'm just trying to make sure I stay on these platforms and let my auto aiming do the rest. And then I can't hit him when he's like that. Oh, I'm such a dingus. I took damage, I really didn't need to. That stinks, we're doing so well too. Triple frogs again. I don't really know what this one really does too much, the EX move here. And I guess it just makes some kind of armor that will knock out enemies that are trying to get near us, so obviously not that helpful for this situation. But we definitely have to be getting close. Okay, that goes all the way across though, actually. I didn't realize that. Whoa, whoa. I'm gonna just switch and try to hold on tight. Oh, they got me, that is a tough momentum to keep. No, yikes indeed, you went for broke and now you're cracked. We were so close. Oh, I should've just been throwing some of those blue fireballs by the chance. Ah oh, man, come on, one more time now and we can get him. For sure, for sure. So he's punching. He's throwing those fireballs of doom. I guess they're like little punching gloves, aren't they? Ow, you know what? I'm trying again. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. But this is exactly why I want to definitely like sort of take my time through the game and not worry about like, okay, I want to get the entire world done in an episode. Most games I do that. But with this, I know it's gonna take a while, especially for the later worlds. I might just sort of break up the action. That way we're not getting too exhausted. Watch it, oh boy. Nice, okay. Ah, oh, why'd I do that? I'm, I'm not doing so well. So I've gotten here with all three health. I'm hoping I can keep it that way. Oh boy. 
Nice. What do we get? We got three frogs again. Not good. I mean, actually, this one's not too bad. As long as I can just sort of keep above them like that, we'll do pretty good, actually. Ow, oh, but I had to take damage. That sort of stinks. Okay, okay, that's fine, that's fine. I know we can keep this going, and we'll do all right. Oh, that was a waste, okay. I was hoping that actually land. Now the bulls, I'm not too fond of, for obvious reasons. We're just gonna keep shooting while I try to dodge. And that seems to be working just fine. Oh, and there it is, a knockout! We only took two damage, which we could've taken three, I mean, not, I mean, I only took, one damage, I have two HP. Wish I could have had all three HP. Anyways, we did pretty good. As you can see, uh, is there any way like, to speed this up? I don't know, I guess not. Oh, we only got one parry? I forgot about the parries. Oh, well that stinks. Our grade is a B, it's okay. I'll take it. <laughs> it's something, all right? Alrighty, so with that done, as you can see, we're gonna move back out into this area. And that makes a bridge over this way. Ribby and Croaks. <laughs> Guess that was their name. Was there anything up here that we missed? I think so. Looks like there's a good chunk. Like, what's this little tree? Ruse of an Ooze. Goopy Legrand, oh cool. This sounds like it could be fun. I'm sort of roaming around. I don't know if I'm doing this stuff in order. I'm <laughs> most likely not. But let's try what I can and see how it ends up going. Yeah, this has been a ton of fun so far. All right then, Mr. Ooze, watch it. I'm gonna do what I can to beat him up. He just sort of, whoa, okay. I sort of remember him a little bit, like some of his moves are a bit crazy. I dodged right into him there. That was silly of me. Sometimes, I don't know, I have a hard time remembering the distance of the dash. So if I duck, yeah, I can sort of dodge that one. Oh, that was close. What I do like, though, is that, oh no, oh, he's gonna get bigger. That's not, yeah, I wanted to back up a little bit. Um, is that every time you do die to a boss or anything, it does tell you how far you went. So like, and that's like really inspiring for like, oh, just a little bit farther, you know? Keeps you going. Come on, come on. Whoa, boy, that was close. All right, throw one of those at him. That seems to work pretty well. Nice, oh, he's knocked out at the moment. Oh, I remember this, don't I? Or do I? Yes, I do. This is gonna be a problem, because <laughs> now apparently, He's not alive, but he's still attacking us. He still has plenty of vengeance. There we go. Nice, not bad. I think I actually want to go for the auto aiming this time. This is a perfect place to do it! So I can just focus on attacking the dude. Come on. Yeah, not happening. Yeah, look at that knockout! Jeez, that was pretty cool. I mean, we didn't do perfectly, but we made our way through there in just like a snap. It was real easy. Okay, so how is that against Goopy Legrand? We got a minute 21, one out of three, zero out of three for parry. Was there even anything to parry? What was there to parry? Huh, I'm not sure. Anyways, we, we got a B, something. And there might be a way to go up, up here? I'm not entirely sure, oh, there is. Okay, so we get Goopy Legrand, very cool. And what about this path? Is there anything to find? Oh, you bet there is. Look at the secret little path. Cutting corners. So I guess you could sort of skip ahead or something? Well, I don't want to skip ahead for right now. Anyways, as you can see, there seems to be still like a second half to this world if we go to our, um, where do I want to go? The list. If I take a look at the list, as you can see, there's still three more levels or two boss fights and the level. And seeing how we did two boss fights and two levels, I think that seems to be about a good of a balance. It might take a little bit more effort to get through the last of the levels in the next episode. But yeah, there's our first episode of Cuphead. I had a ton of fun with this, and hopefully you guys did too. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of Cuphead. If you watched this part of the video, make sure you comment Zebra Cup, so now you've watched at the end of the URA, Zebra Tastic Viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now, or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd out of the way. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.